me fix that. Welcome back to Disc and Balls Golf Channel. We are continuing the 18 holes at Fritchie Park here in Slidell, Louisiana. And uh, it's going well so far. We are one under, a couple of bogeys, one more birdie than that, I guess. <laughs> but uh, it's definitely a fun course, definitely technical. If you haven't watched the front nine, watch that. I don't know why you'd be here having not seen it, but uh, traditionally people have watched less of the back nine than the front nine. I don't know why that is, but you can help to uh, break that streak. I continue to watch after you watch the front nine. Anyway, hole 10, 210 ish feet, straight line. I don't see any other real 400 backhand lines here, so um, I'm just going to throw something straight down the middle. There are a bunch of stumps where you could maybe drop a straight roller and just hopefully it dodges everything and gets down there. But I think I'll probably just try and rip on a wizard and make like the most scenic ace. You know, there's only one other ace on the channel. It's the most scenic ace on the channel by in this one. So here we go. Stay left. Oh shit. I like that a lot. Hole 10 here proves that humans are better at building nests than birds. Get fucked, government spy drones. <laughs> and we're parked. You know what, I don't want to mess this up, so I will take the backpack off. Not that confident on a new, new course. Oh, still almost missed. What an idiot. Hole 11 is 217 feet or something. Um, it goes straight and then just a little bit dog leg left. I think I had most success with uh, my hunter from the Red Sea, but I need a little more turnover, so... I think my white hunter, if I really rip it, should turn over nicely. Uh, A2 might be a little too beefy for the forehand line, so I think, yeah, backhand it is. I just have to release properly. Oh, shit. That should par. Turned over a little too much, and I also pulled it a little uh, right of my, my intended line, but if I started at those trees to the left, I think it would have been all right. So a little bit of a jail shot here. Uh, it's definitely wide enough, but it is still uh, only about a seven foot gap. And really I just want to throw it to the base of the basket and give myself an easy par. Nothing crazy. Okay. A little more feisty than I meant, but I hit the top of that ridge and should have sat down nicely, I think, I think. So it rims off the top of the hill a little, still have about 12 feet, not too bad. Oh, almost, almost missed that left side. Hotel, hole 12, <laughs> uh, hole 12 is 300 feet, low gap. There is some room up here, some real estate, you can bring it over to the edge of the baseball field. I'm guessing that's OB. Uh, the road that goes across is not OB, and uh, yeah, there's, there is some airspace up there. I'm curious about that compared to the low line, but I think I'm going to go with like a low, a low flip up line forehand. So maybe the curl again. I'll just keep it low up here. The uh, again, I haven't been planting well on this stuff, so I'm going to take it a little easier and just try and be more precise instead of more powerful. Puts up beautifully and hit that tree even more beautifully. So square. That should be, that might be a putt. Okay, we got 77 feet. Shark attack. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Dude, that's so awesome, man. <laughs> Sharks putting it work today. So, whole 13 plays down this 
uh, road. Climb out, because I gotta check and see if the road's OB. I gotta figure out how to play this. Climb in. The road, I mean, the, the road's inbounds, everything's inbounds except the water, right? If you're surrounded by that, you're OB. In that case, I'm gonna rip this ballista pro. It's a little downwind. There shouldn't be a chance of this turning over back in, so I'm pretty confident I can keep it in play. Oh, I never flipped it up. Kick right. I think it might have. If I release that at the right angle, it's probably pretty pretty all right. In this case, it was only mediocre. So anyway, basket just that way. A little little hyzer. Sure. Oh, this is an OB. I can actually stand on it. Oh, I almost missed. Kind of sweat stuck to my hand a little. So I made it. Woohoo! So I played that hole completely wrong. It was not 450 or whatever. Uh, it's actually the short basket, so it was only 240 something. Didn't need the Ballista Pro. <laughs> Could have gone pretty much anything else downwind. Um, I mean, probably Explorer, if I had to guess. But I didn't, so. Uh, that explains why I was pin high with a mediocre throw. Um, and so par, just hope I'm par. And now we move on to 14. Okay, hole 14. It's a little straight left to right at the end line. I want to do a little turnover like shark. You know, shark's been working today. So I just want to rip one a little bit any, let it just kind of drift down that tunnel. Uh, this 165 from the blue. I think it's a little farther. Uh, it looks like since the last time I played, it was on a stump. It looks like that stump is dead now. And so now it's hanging from some trees. That's about, I don't know, 10, 12 feet maybe? Maybe 15? But yeah, I, I think I have to play. Oh, two inside? Yeah, two inside. Uh, that's probably going long though. Okay, it's scramble time. Okay, so I didn't give myself much room. This is uh, it's not a line here. Well, maybe, maybe. That's kind of a gross line now. Actually, it might be my only line. Oh, and there's this fucking viney bastard. This is spiky. Not a fan, gotta say, gotta admit. I think I can chop a, a roller. All right, well, I don't throw rollers much. So I'm gonna chop this A2 roller and hope it works out. It's kind of cool. Oh, man, I hate this vine. Oh, I center punched that one tree. Okay, well, that's what happens when you fuck around. And now I'm finding out. Seems like the forehand is the tournament play. Just rip it down there straight, let it fade a touch at the end, and you don't have any issues. But now I'm dealing with all the most awkward positions. Yeah, I'm just gonna let the disc do the work. I was thinking forehand, this forehand bird, but the forehand's actually more awkward. So we're just gonna backhand Annie with the understable hunter. We're just trying to save bogey. Oh, Robert, you dumb motherfucker. Ah, oh, it's so easy. Oh, that's awkward. Let me fix that. Okay, well, so much for saving bogey. Unless I can make the most awkward of, I don't know. I don't know, I gotta figure out what the line is. It's like a stepper, like a weird stepper where I have to like, come on. Oh, that was almost, that was almost pretty heroic. So there's a five that gets rid of all my birdies. So I thought I was back to even, but I'm actually still at one under, fortunately, so that's good. Uh, I was going to be very annoyed and try and push and probably make a bunch of bogeys trying to get back to under par. Uh, number, what the fuck? 15. 15, yes. Yeah. Uh, 
There's the straight line. That's probably never going to work. I don't know. It might work. Anyway, there's also the Tizer line. I like it more from the red. But uh, blues is... That is tricky. That is not big. I don't know. I don't know what I like here. There is a straighter center line. But, um... Yeah. Anyway, let's go out of a fix. I think Melissa Pro might be too stable. But I also know that it will never turn over into the fence line. It could hit a tree and then kick into the fence line. We're going to ignore the possibility of that happening and we're just going to throw it with, uh, with positivity. It's very high. I don't even know. Probably not the right distance, but it's going to be parable. Kind of dangerous. Let's see. This is already a meter if I had to guess. Yeah, womp womp. Um, 90 footer, huh? I was going to say it's, it's almost shark in time, but Berg, um, I'm trying to just hit that left gap. 90 feet, huh? Plenty of ceiling, I think. That's fine. I have to really reach the. It didn't even come into play, yeah. I think it's in my head. Metal par. Par. I wanted to give it a little more bid. <laughs> Go like this. As long as you're not touching anything in front of the lie. I established balance. Hole 16 has like so many roots. Like there's a small one here that's maybe a turnover flat. There's one here that's maybe like Rip a stand up, but I don't know if it'll get far enough left. There's a, it looks like there's a forehand line. I don't like it, it doesn't look promising. Maybe forehand flex if I can hit that tiny gap. No, that's ugly too. Uh, I think a little flexy boy is probably the play backhand. This, it seems like going over the red pad is the uh, safest. And with this tailwind, I don't know that I can get something on Heiser that'll flare far enough left. We take a lot of spin, and I'm not confident about that level of spin. So, what to do? I don't know. I just want to get past the red box, so um, fun. We're taking the safe route. Tournament play out to the right. Trying to skip a little nasty guy over there, so destroy her. I think that worked out better than I thought. Definitely jumped to the wrong side of the camera. And I told myself, if you're going right, step left, and then jump way over there anyway, so. Okay, I think we're in circles. I don't see the tough 29. All right, this would be a good birdie. I don't really like this footing, or do I? Hmm. Nope. Okay, hole 17, it says 262 down a gap. Mando left, so there's no uh, playing it out by the baseball trees. This tree behind me here, that guy, is a bit of an asshole, blocking uh, the James Conrad run-ups. Sorry, James, this hole's not for you. Um, I think I have a little flip up forehand. I don't really need to be holding this, or do I? I don't know. So yeah, I think a little flip up forehand. Just like uh, Katana, or maybe that curl again. Just get it to ride up and then skip finishing right. Actually, you have to finish pretty far right now that I'm seeing. So I might just try and flip a destroyer down there. Highs of the whole way. Flip, skipping hard right. Step one, hit the Mando. You bastard. A little too inside, but it didn't deserve it. It wasn't bad enough to des deserve that roll away because that takes uh, takes birdie out of play. So it like missed everything and rolled right into this gap. That is the most unfortunate kick. Oh my goodness! Not much of a line. We're past the Mando. That's good. Uh, there's a wonky backhand line. 
There's a roller line. We saw how well that worked earlier. I think I think the only thing open is this. Oh, you know what? There's a load. Just rip it through the trees. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna smash it. Just do this hoop and hope it like fights enough that it gets to where I want it. You bastard tree. Oh, that worked really well. Get it. Oh, hit metal. Hit metal with some, uh, with some stain. Okay, we got... Like 21 feet around a tree. Cleaning up the car. All right, hole 18, it says 514, which means if you do 300 and 200, you have a 15 feet pipe. But I really want to birdie this one. Do I want to birdie it more or do I want to bogey it less? Uh, so like 300 is super safe and then, you know, it's still really birdieable. But I'd like to get past that fence. That fence is about 330 or so. And I think a forehand is probably the best bet. I can go really overstable forehand and have it fight back and maybe skip it in the road if it gets a little squirrely. Or I can go like more of a flip up, but it's gonna rip destroyer. Kind of flat, uh, kind of at that stop sign. Maybe a little, uh, yeah, I'll figure it out. I'm gonna throw naturally. I mean, it ran into that stupid bunch of shit over on the right side, but that's a good position play. So that's annoying, but. From 199 in, I can just stand still a Phoenix, throw it as far left as I want. I don't think I have enough power to throw it OB if I wanted to, with the Phoenix forehand. So that's the plan, throw it left, let it go right. Give myself a good putt, a good reasonable putt. Oh, I'm trying to flirt with the OB. No, I think that's good. It's about 15 feet left for birdie, pretty good look. I gotta make this putt though. So there you have it, 18 holes at Fritchie Park here in Slidell, Louisiana. Uh, super fun course. It, uh, it's interesting to me how you, you have to hit lines with power um, if you want to, I mean for me anyway, maybe there's some, uh, some local lines I haven't learned yet that it's like, oh you can just kind of finesse it, but some of the shots it was like, just rip it, rip it forehand, make sure you release on the right angle, or, or even backhand, you know, like the double bogey that I took, which is shitty. Uh, but yeah, even that was like, uh, you know, if you execute the shot, you get rewarded, it seems like. There are a few little uh, tricky, like, poke and hope type situations. Not not too many, which is, I like. I, I think that's fair on a course. You know, keep, you know, reward people for hitting their line, punish them for missing. I think that's great. So this is this is a fun course. I'm looking forward to it, uh, to playing it more often. The uh, the reds have a lot of ace runs. The, uh, the blue is actually like, like I said, you know, Hit your line, hit your line with power, and you know avoid the bogeys. Uh, but yeah, 18, you know, got the bird. Uh, that's I'm gonna have to figure out how to play that one reliably. I think the forehand over the road is most reliable for me. But uh, no, I'm looking forward to playing a lot. So great course, definitely recommend it if you're in Slidell or the New Orleans area. And uh, yeah, fun fun times. Uh, so that's it from here. Uh, as always, thank you for watching, and hopefully I see you on the course.